Hey guys, it's Moan, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, the first soldier. I didn't mess it up this time, I didn't butcher it. How are you guys doing? What are you drinking? I don't have anything to drink. I'll probably give me some water in a bit. You guys finally back with some more of this, and let me tell you, something interesting happened, alright? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you instead of telling you. But today, we're gonna continue our story with Final Fantasy, the first soldier. Level my characters up, and I'm ready to get back into it. But let me go ahead and show you guys that thing I was just talking about. You're gonna love it. Alrighty, you guys, we got this cool little section right here that's called Story Quest. Now, I did not check this out, but it says a quest in which you can explore the hidden memories of each character. Which, what the heck is that all about? I have no idea. I haven't clicked on it. So I'm gonna click on it now so we can check it out together. I literally just unlocked this, and I was like, well, I gotta play it now. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Should I do this? Is this going to come up later? I found myself at the station at Sector 7 slums, almost as if I was guided there. I reunited with Tifa, my childhood friend, who made this place her home, and we quickly began to make up for lost time. On Nibelheim! Okay, so that happened in Ever Crisis with, um, with Zack. Okay, let me see what this is. Happy reunion. So is this based off of Final- Okay, what we're gonna do, you guys, I know this is kind of, um, steering away from what normal I would normally play, but I kind of want to check this out. Yeah, let's check this out. I'm interested. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Hey, look at that Mako junkie. Sir. The one wearing a fancy soldier uniform? Yeah, I see him. You know what that means, right? His sword's gotta be worth a lot of- I'm Not y'all robbing a guy that's hurt, come on now. His sword's gotta be worth a lot of money. Oh, oh gosh. These women are real tight, pretty strong for a junkie. He's creeping me out. Forget about it. Come on. Not y'all just giving up like that. These robbers are incompetent. Hey, are you alright? If you're okay to walk, you should go to get help from Shenra. I hear they take in folk like you. This poor cloud. Jeez. He's just walking around in pain. Nobody's gonna actually help him. Normal people like him these days. I hope he gets the help he needs. Ooh. Wow. I guess because they're just used to seeing. This is crazy. Poor thing. Just go walk right past him. Are you all right? Tifa. Oh, this is what was happening to him in the um first game. Tifa. Are you Cloud? That's right, I'm... I'm Cloud, Cloud Strife, a former Shenra soldier, first class. I'm at the station in Sector 7 slums, and in front of me is my childhood friend Tifa. What kind of narration is this? <laughs> I haven't seen her since I went back home for a mission, my final mission as a soldier. Wow, I am so glad I played Crisis Core then. How long has it been? Five years. I like how he just gets a headache. He's just like, he just answered her question. What even is that? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm fine. I wonder what causes that to happen. What is it? 
Oh no, it's nothing. It's just strange seeing you after such a long time. It's, she just happened to be walking around where he was laying at? After what happened back home, I was worried about you. I'm really glad you're okay. What? How do you know about that? Uh-oh. All right, he was incognito. Uh, yeah. A lot's changed since then. I live in Sector 7 slums now and work at a bar nearby. Huh? That's so? What about you? How's life been since you left Nibelheim? I became a soldier. Cloud, what's wrong? Sorry, I can't talk about my time at Shenra. It's confidential. Besides, it's not a fun story. Tell me anyways. I want to hear what you've been up to. Are you sure you're okay? You don't look well. It's nothing. I've been busy these past few days, so I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I should probably try to rest up. I'm going to go. See you around, Tifa. Go where? Wait. Hey, wait. When can I see you again? Are you staying somewhere? I was going to find an inn. Maybe stick around for a while. Find something more permanent later. Then why did you come to the bar? We have a lot of catching up to do. No thanks. I'll help you find a room, so come on. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll get in touch when I do. Just wait. I know someone who's looking for tenants. I'll introduce you. Oh, here comes Merle. Merle, whatever her name is. Static shock. Sure, thanks. No problem. I've lived here for five years now. It's practically home. The bar's this way. Come on. I mean, so now we know from... Uh, I should have been happy bumping into my old friend Tifa, but... Oh, what you're about to say? What you're about to say? My body was heavy and my head hurt. It's like I wasn't me anymore. <gasps> Former soldier, first class, cloud strife. That's what I kept repeating to myself over and over again. Oh, buddy. What was all those numbers? No, they're gonna make me fight? Well, we checked it out. Okay, so that was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of sets you up to understand what happened before the whole train incident at the very start of Final Fantasy VII, you guys. Like, when they're actually, he's actually working with Barry. I think that's where it's leading up to this. Now, the problem is, with Rebirth, I don't know if this is gonna be in Rebirth. And we want those fancy scenes, right? So I'm just going to do that part. But that is very interesting. Because he said he didn't feel like himself anymore. So what actually happened to him? I'm going to leave that in the dark. We're going to continue on with the first soldier. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it, you guys. I'm so excited. Alright, so before I go on, I just want to tell you guys that... Something really interesting had happened, alright? I actually had to go and do a few parts from the Final Fantasy VII portion of this game in order to unlock some stuff to make them a little bit more powerful, which I still have some work to do in that department, but I, I'm skilled enough. We have, our power is high enough for me to go forward to the next part. However, you guys, there were some interesting cutscenes that happened in the Final Fantasy VII portion of this game. I didn't watch it, I skipped it, and I don't know if I should have, but I felt like it was probably hinting at some stuff they didn't put in the remake, because it didn't end the way the remake ended it, where they were like in some void or something, you know, they walked past Zack carrying Cloud, like that did not happen at the end of this. They were with Red and they were having a conversation and I was able to make some decisions, but I just skipped it mostly. I just made random decisions and left. I was like, I'm not about to watch this. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't. I don't know if these things are going to come up. I'm trying to avoid anything that could possibly lead to possible spoilers for Rebirth because this feels like this game kind of wants to do that. 
So when it comes to that rebirth crossover, you guys, I still want to finish this, all right? I'm sorry, I still want to finish this. So if rebirth does come out and you guys do not see me posting a video on the first day, know that it's probably because I want to do this first, okay? It's fine, we'll get there eventually, but for now, let's just finish this up. Sorry for all of that info at the very beginning, but that's because once we start the actual game, you guys aren't going to really see the screen. And I kind of don't want to talk a lot during the cutscenes unless it's story related. But this is where we're sitting at with our power. Let's we'll see how much we can get done. I hope I can make it through all of chapter 6 tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Alright, if you guys don't remember what was happening the last time, we were going off to find Sephiroth because apparently he was collecting corpses. Why? I don't know. It's Sephiroth. That's why I'm trying to understand where he's coming from in this game right now. I don't understand his story. Anyone up for a walk? Then follow me. Alright, you guys, don't be surprised if this is the only part I do for now and then I transition. It's really late. It's really late. When I tell you guys it takes me hours to grind to get um, get them powered up, it takes me hours. I don't know why it just lagged. There was a huge spike right there, but sorry about that, you guys. Oh, this place is beautiful. No! Alright, so somehow I leveled up Red and Yuffie, even though I haven't played them at all. They're just leveling up like Aerith, so... Ooh! No! Now what is going on? Aerith just leveled... Cloud just leveled up! What? Barret! <laughs> you guys know I had to play Cloud... Barrett, Tifa, and Aerith just to get to this point, right? Okay, y'all don't know that, but that's the situation I was in. I was trying to level them up and they weren't do it. It was taking forever, so I just stopped and just fought at a low level and prayed for the best. And then we still won. This place is beautiful and this music is nice too. Oh yeah, nothing like taking two steps and then having to fight a freaking monster. I think they were blocking this though. Monsters normally show up when there's treasure. Oh, I don't know which way to go. I need a map. Oh, treasure. I know which way to go. Go back. <gasps> what the f free? Is somebody watching us? Is this an ambush? This definitely feels. I'm. I'm right there with you. I am right there with you, Glenn. But it's treasure. Feels like a trap. What the heck? 10,000 gil. Why did the leaves just rustle like that? I don't want to go the. I don't want to go the right way. That looks like the right way. Let's go back this way. Let's look here. Nothing. That was just a. Okay, it was just for me to see the entire area. That's a little weird. I need those. Something to kill you, kill you. Jesus bird has a lot of health. That's gonna take a while. Oh snap, you guys, I just noticed what bird this is! <laughs> I fought this bird before! I remember! Because he threw a rock when I was playing UV! This bird is huge! This bird is way huge than he was before with UV. He picked the <laughs> Oh! It's a Redoran foul? Is that- <sighs> Could it be that they experimented on these birds? Oh, it's all coming together! Oh. 
This bird is kicking their butts right now. Now he keeps doing this too. Oh, he's throwing a lava stone now. <laughs> he's kicking their butt. You guys just a minute ago, he was kicking the nuts out of Matt. Like, really trying to kill Matt. And then he turned his attention to Lucia for some reason, I guess, because she healed him. Look at all! He almost killed Matt. And he just went off. <laughs> he's about to die now, though. But it's taking forever to kill this dude. All right, gigantic bird is destroyed. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. That bird was being a legit problem. That took forever. And they're at a decent level. I'm not I'm not seeing us start our next part unless it's like story related, but that was, that took forever. Oh, that's why he was a boss. He was a boss, that's why it happened. What is that, a broken bottle? I'm like, why is he being such a problem? This looks like a materia fragment. They took a long time to form and sometimes shatter in the process. So we can't use it. So we can't use it. What a waste. Try chucking it at a monster. Might be able to chase it off. You can do the same with any old rock lying around. True. Sephiroth should be back there. They are really tiny compared to this world. So, about the whole scavenging corpses thing. It had to be a joke, right? You wouldn't do something like that. I can't imagine why, at least. Come on, let's go find him. It's Hojo! Come on, blame Hojo for everything. Not gonna lie, you guys, that was pretty disappointing. Pretty disappointing indeed. Oh my goodness, and now Sephiroth's underpowered. <sighs> I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit more before I head in, you guys, but let's just see what we can do. See you guys in just a bit. All right, yeah, second thought, you guys, I am gonna call it for now, because it looks like I actually have to do some fighting with Sephiroth in order to level him up. But I will be back. I will be, very, I will be back very soon to get some more content out for this. So for this story quest thing, I don't think I'm going to put this in the video. I mean, just the first part. I don't think I'm gonna put more of those in the video just yet. I'm gonna focus more on the main, the first soldier story. And then what I'll do, if you guys are interested, when I'm done with the first soldier chapters, which I hope it doesn't take too long, but when I'm done with it, I'll just compile all the story quest um, pieces together in one video. By that point, my character should be strong enough where I don't have to worry about leveling him up. So we're gonna do it that way. I'm only calling it for now because I'm, it's really, it's getting late, you guys. It's one o'clock in the morning and uh, I've been working on grinding or leveled him up, but we'll be back. And I'll be back with some more energy, probably a cup of coffee and it'll be morning. And we're gonna continue on with some more of this. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to more of this story. I'm actually really enjoying it. I wanna know what Sephiroth's collecting these bodies for. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, hey guys, it's Moan, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, The First Soldier. How are you guys doing? What are you drinking? I don't have anything. I, I will probably make me a cup of coffee, but I really just wanted to get into this because I finally got their power level up high enough to continue on to the next chapter. I will say, you guys, um, I'm not gonna be able to upload rebirth the day that it comes out because i will i actually have to do that day so i'll get it up whenever i get the chance to Alrighty, you guys so i'm, I'm just going to say this straight from the beginning this may be the last video for this i'm not going to lie you guys this game is so time consuming it takes me so long to get their power up and i found that the higher the power the less experience points i gain from doing like the solo quest stuff so I just want to let you guys know this might be the last one. It's like you know, this might be the last video that I post of this gameplay, unless I feel like doing it on some random occasion. Just go through and you know play some more of this, which I highly doubt. But it's very, very, very time consuming. Very time consuming. So we're I got them a little over um, the amount that I need. So I'm hoping I can finish this chapter up. I'm not sure. We'll see. 
but I'm really not liking the way that they went about uh, about this because I really want to try to get this done before rebirth but forget it I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna play rebirth and then we could just say oh, okay this is a little side story for Sephiroth I hope he doesn't talk about it in the game I'm not sure but we're here got them leveled up got their power levels to a decent level I did so much stuff you guys but we're gonna go ahead and continue on to the next part which is called a memorable leader all right so before I get started I wanted to let you guys know why I came to that decision it looks like they're still coming out with content for this so I'm not quite sure how long they're gonna be coming out with content and I don't want to keep releasing these parts when I know that that rebirth is coming out and like if rebirth is actually released right and they're still releasing parts for this you guys aren't going to be able to experience watching me play Final Fantasy Rebirth so that's another reason why I decided to do that because it looks like they'll probably still be releasing chapters to this game so that's why I also said I might not play it anymore we'll see I'm not sure if you guys are interested in seeing more just let me know if not then we'll move on to something better so all right whoa you really are scavenging corpses what uh oh, we found you out, buddy. Ah, I can see why you might get the wrong idea. Yeah, yeah, what you, what you doing, Sephiroth? Ah, uh, I can see why you might get the wrong idea. Are you looking for something? Yes, actually. The necklace with my mother's picture. I thought it might be under... S one of these bodies. <laughs> I suppose I really am scavenging corpses then. Why would you think your her thing was here? We'll help you look. We need to clear this place out anyway. Y'all really buying that? Something don't sound right about his story. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you guys. I learned a new ability for Sephiroth and uh, my guy, is, he, he looks like he's sus. He does a little thing, the little thing he does in the back on the uh, main menu, where he's kind of looking off to the side, like I just caused some destruction. He just he does that. He has this weird ability, and then he does a little side glance thing, and I'm like, eh, mm, no, you seem evil. Is it me, or are there fewer bodies now than there were ten days ago? That would be due to the monsters. I'm not buying it. Ugh. No in heck, I'm dying in here and getting eaten by one of them. Nah, they taking the bodies and giving them to Hojo for experiments. You've been letting your guard down lately, all of you. But just because you think it's safe doesn't mean that it is. You can't afford to be careless because you know. Now why is he just flying into the room in the first place? I can't always be around to protect you. Who are you, Saffron? Who are you to just be like, oh, I gotta protect you? You just came out of nowhere. Y'all, don't let this teenager one up you. Come on now. <laughs> oh, so you've been graciously protecting us all this time. I'm with Glenn on this one. That's my job as leader. <laughs> There's more. Are you ready? Look at him! Little short stack with boots. Y'all, I made an act and I was supposed to turn my mic on. I accidentally skipped the recording. I stopped the recording when he was in the middle of the move! No, I was trying to show you guys the new move. Oh, oh, here we go! Good guy. I swear this better be a long cutscene. And then I think what bothers me is these cutscenes aren't even that long. They're not even that long. You see how you only get 19,000 experience points, but they need 650. Look, Matt and Glenn need a million. And for Sephiroth to level up to level 53, he needs 651,000. And look at how much experience they're giving me. That's how much I'm getting whenever I do the solo content. And I have to keep just doing that over and over and over and over again. For hours on end. 
I need you guys to understand. That's pure torture. You know, yeah, I'll get up and walk around, but a million? One million experience points, and they're only giving me 19,000. Now, this is on the main story. This is the campaign. We're not getting anything. What? The date has to... I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, well, it seems like the game took me back to the main menu. I don't even know what that message was all about. So, gotta do that whole fight all over again. I'll see you guys when it's over with. They're still dying even after I leveled them up. Oh, it's gonna give me a game over. Are you freaking kidding me? You're dead. Yo, I leveled y'all up for what? No, stop talking. Why did I level you up for what? <laughs> you guys, I'm so over this game. Like, I did all of that. I spent the past three days trying to level their crap up for nothing. Okay, you're weak to fire. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'm gonna have to control their actions. Sometimes I gotta control their actions for them. Especially Matt. Matt has a bad habit of not healing his teammates. Or his squad mates, whatever they call them. So he's weak against fire. Let me switch to Matt. No, you're gonna keep healing. I remember I had to stop. I had to actually play them to make him do this because he wasn't doing it enough. Look at this. You see? Look at it. Look. They're still alive. Because he wants to keep whacking people, but he's not strong enough to do a lot of damage. Yeah, get him out of here. He feels a surge of power. No, you don't. No, you, you don't feel a surge of anything. Yeah, lay down. Those birds are problems. Even when I was playing Yuffie, they were being a problem. I didn't even gain any experience. Y'all better give me some story-related stuff for this. He didn't even gain any experience. We didn't get any items. No items and no experience from that. That sucks. So, it's a leader's job to protect his team, huh? I wish I could tell that to a certain someone. A certain someone who threatens his teammate, his team with violence. No, he doesn't! Look at Matt out here snitching. And forces him to smell his disgusting socks. They sound awful. Awfully memorable, others might say. I see. Maybe they're not awful, but... Oh, there is no but in the sentence. Maybe they're just fear of being forgotten. Forgotten. I hadn't thought of it that way. I guess we'll never know. See, and then they give me these short cutscenes for all the trouble that I go through. Okay. Nope, guys, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. We don't really get any story. I mean, I made it to chapter six. That's a huge feat, right? And then they're still coming out with more chapters. I need only a, like, let me see. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. I know it doesn't look like it to you guys. Yeah, I'm at 98,000. That's gonna take a while. That's going to take a while. I know to you guys it doesn't seem like it, but literally when I tell you I have to sit here for hours on end, just making them grind, and then what's worse, is they run out of energy. There's, there's there's energy things that I can use to help um, increase the amount of experience they gain, which isn't by a lot, but it's better than just not using it. I run out of energy and I ran out of the tonics that I could drink in order to use, you know, use them for free. I'm running out of gems and I don't feel like spending money on this game just to do it. So I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I get the gist of it. He learned some stuff. I, I am interested in the story still. Like I said, if I'm if I feel like I want to come back and do this, I most definitely will. But it's not going to be one of those things where I'm like, oh my god, on my to do list, like it's been for these past past few days, weeks, literally. Been working on this for <laughs> for like two weeks now. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I gave the game a chance. You know, but there's just some things in here I just wish they didn't implement in that way. The story, as always, is always great. I enjoy the story. But trying to get through to the story is what's doing it for me.
So I'm going to stop it here. I was hoping we get more story related stuff after I had to grind. So I'm going to stop it here, you guys. I'm sorry. I just can't keep doing this to myself. <laughs> so from now on, you guys will be seeing some new gameplays on the channel. Or maybe some stuff that I haven't finished yet from my PlayStation. But just not this. I just can't keep doing this to myself. But thank you for suggesting this. I do appreciate it. I, I did enjoy it for what it was. It's just the grindy part that I'm not enjoying. But everything else I actually liked. I really love when Sephiroth came into the mix. I love that. But that's going to be all for this gameplay for now. I will see you guys in the next gameplay or live stream. It's probably a gameplay. So then you guys take care and have a great rest of your day.